uh, get rolling with it. Uh, week one of the NFL season had some good games, had some compelling games, and then it also had some shit bombs. We'll start with one of the compelling games. Uh, on Thursday night, the opener, uh, Chiefs hosted the Ravens. The Chiefs held out 127-20 on a 50-50. I think it was a touchdown. I haven't seen enough to arguably say it wasn't, but I could see why it wasn't too. I could see I could see both arguments. I think um Patrick Mahomes comments of Isaiah likely should have wore white shoes instead kind of show how close that was. I think it could have gone I think that review could have gone either way. It went the Chiefs way. And instead of have, going into overtime, the Chiefs win 27-20. And uh, that's that. Game was, uh, I didn't, I only watched pieces of this game. But this is, this is what the season, how the season should have started. This is probably one of the better games. Um, either this or the Packers game, which we'll talk Packers uh, Eagles game, which we'll talk about in a minute, is very fitting with how it started. Um, the Ravens need to figure out how to use Derrick Henry. Like, give give the man the ball. He only got thirteen carries. He he ran the ball less than Lamar did. And John Harbaugh saying. Oh, yeah, we're not bringing Derrick Henry to run 30 times. Uh, give the man the fucking football. Like, that one is the... that That's just weird. I don't really understand where you sit and be like, Ah, yeah, we don't want to give him the ball 20, 30 times. But give him the ball and we... Uh, could be having a different story here because the man's just just a freak, good at football. Uh, moving on to Friday night, Eagles no Jason Kelsey, no problems. Saquon's great. Uh, ran for three touchdowns or scored three touchdowns. Um, this game was close, and then Jordan Love got injured in the final minute. Uh, Packers could be in deep trouble. That's divi- that in that division, the NFC North, could be very much a one-team division now. And Packers aren't that one team. I just don't know. I don't think Malik Willis is it. I'll say that. We'll leave it at that. I don't know if Malik Willis is going to be it. Where's my good pen? No, I don't need a pen for this segment. Um, on the other hand, the Eagles, like I said, Saquon r- ran for two touchdowns, uh, had a receiving touchdown. Jalen Hurts wasn't great, two, two interceptions, um, 278 uh, passing yards and two scores. Uh, ran for 33 yards. A.J. Brown is still good, 119 on five catches, one for a 67. Vontae Smith, also good, like we shouldn't be shocked. Dallas Goddard, serviceable, pretty good tight end. Jaden Reed, um, the Packers was their primary, was their best receiver. A 138 and a score. Josh Jacobs looked good after being pretty mediocre last year. Ran for, didn't score any, but ran for 84 yards. Jordan Love until the injury looked pretty good. Only got sacked once. Um, It's just Packers need to get him back in the fastest way possible. Moving on to Sunday's games. This game was ass. The Falcons, with Kirk Cousins as their starter, lost to a team that didn't score a touchdown. The uh, 
Steelers couldn't start Russell Wilson. He was the emergency quarterback, which is why he was dressed. Um, he was, <laughs> yeah, I got nothing on that. Um, Fields, Fields and the Steelers offense didn't count for a touchdown. They six field goals and win the game. Uh, honestly, like, and Kyle Pitts got a touchdown pass. Fields threw for 156, took, only took two sacks, no interceptions. Honestly, on in terms of in terms of the Falcons, what could you expect from a guy in Kirk Cousins who, yes, he was serviceable, but he's thirty six, yeah, thirty six, and coming off of a torn Achilles. What could you expect? Mike Tomlin still doesn't like uh, Najee Harris, the dude. Yeah, yeah just why? Fields ran for 57 yards. Cordero Patterson got carries. Jalen Warren got two carries. George Pickens got a carry and lost 10 yards. Can't see that on your screen. Um, B. John Robinson and Tyler Al Algier, um, not phenomenal. Not bad, just, just existed. And again, this team just, this Falcons team just wasn't, did not look good. I think this was a game where everyone expected the Falcons to roll, and, uh, oops. Um, the Bills beat the Cardinals 34-28. This Bills defense might not be very good. Josh Allen is pretty good. Josh Allen is really good. Bill's defense, like I said, quite is questionable. Um, Falcon or Cardinals were able to keep this close a game that probably shouldn't have been. And they were even behind at one Bills were even behind at one point. And uh Yeah, like I said, the defense just this Bills team could be really good. But that defense, in years past, it was Josh Allen turning the ball over. And Josh Allen, I don't think turned it over at all. I don't even know if he put the ball on the ground. He, I know he did lose one. Um, this defense gave up a lot of points. <laughs> this defense gave up a lot of points to a team that uh, many were not expecting to be great. At home, Tyler threw for 162 and a score. James Conner ran for 50 and a score. Is running back room? I just don't know what to expect out of it. Trey Benson is going to be better than the aging James Conner. Kyler's going to want to run the ball, though, and it just—I don't know what to make out of either of these teams right now. Other than the the fact that the Bills' offense is really good. We all knew the Cardinals' defense was not going to be good. Bills' defense not looking great kind of kind of shocked me, at least against the team against the Cardinals. Marvin Harrison Jr. didn't really get a whole lot. In fact, he was wide open on the final touchdown and or what could have been the final touchdown, but Kyler's too short and couldn't see him or some shit. I don't know. I don't know how Kyler missed him. Moving on to another shit bomb. Uh, the Bears beat the Titans 24-17. Will Levis stinks. That's all I really got. Will Levis stinks. Caleb Williams was bad. Uh, only throwing for 93 yards. Got sacked twice for 29, yard, uh, for 29 yards. Will Levis is just so bad. I don't even... Will Levis is bad. The Chicago Bears run game is bad. This offense is basically non-existent. They did not have an offensive touchdown. Like, 
They didn't have an offensive touchdown. <laughs> that is, it's like, it's, yeah, no offensive touchdowns. <laughs> I just don't know what to say. They had one defensive, or one kick return, or interception for a touchdown. Fumble recoveries must have been, two of the fumble recoveries must have been touchdowns. That would be my only ex expectation. Oh, blocked punt. Interception return. I forgot they had the blocked punt in there. <laughs> Not only does Will Levis suck, the entire Bears offense is inept. Zero. Zero offensive touchdowns. I don't even know what to say about that. Let's move on. This game, That game sucks. Both of these teams suck. Everyone that was saying that the Bears are going to be good this year, fucking look at this game and tell... Tr watch this game over and try and tell me how you think the Bears are going to be good. Move on to the uh, Patriots traveling to Cincinnati to beat the Bengals 16-10. Uh, <sighs> Patriots win and Gerard Mayo's debut. Uh, the Bengals just sucked. They're, I've never seen a team make so many mistakes. I don't know if Joe Burrow is fully healthy. He was kind of flexing his his hand and wrist and at one point in this game. And at some point, we got to stop. And I'm saying this as a Bengals fan. And people as a whole. Need to stop making excuses for fucking Zach Taylor and Lou Anarumo. I know Brian Callahan's gone. Um, the the old OC. At some point, we gotta stop making excuses for Zach Taylor and Lou Anarumo. Every year, weeks one and two, usually week three, even potentially, this team is awful, and they go play one of the worst teams in the NFL and just look look like they hadn't practiced at all and. That's what happens when you don't let your starters play a single snap in the preseason. It's what happens when you don't take summer training camp seriously. At some point, Zach Taylor has to be held accountable. We gotta stop making fucking excuses for Zach Taylor and letting him ride off the getting to the Super Bowl two three years ago and then two years ago getting to the AFC Championship. At some point. We got to stop making excuses for fucking Zach Taylor. He's a bad head coach. That's it. That, that's, that's it. This Bengals team has enough talent that they're going to win games. I don't know what, the, I don't even know what to say about the Patriots. Cause like I said, the, the Bengals were just so bad, made so many mistakes. That I just don't, I don't even know what to say about the Patriots. If they're going to actually be better than expected or not. So I can't really talk on them yet. Uh, the Texans beat the Cowboys or beat no Texans beat the Colts. I'm sorry. Wow. Um, 29-27. Both of these teams are really good. Yeah. The um Texans getting Stephon Diggs and Joe Mixon to uh help C.J. Stroud out. Genius. Anthony Richardson, as long as he's healthy, could be really good. This team could be really fun. Both teams could be really fun to watch. Um, Jonathan Taylor's that dude. I know he didn't run for a lot, but he is that guy uh, for the Colts. And these two teams could both be really good. One team just had to come out on, on top. That's what it was here. Texans do win. Um... 
Like I said, the Texans going and getting help for Stroud. Genius. Getting more talent to put around that team that already had talent last year. Uh, brilliant. Jags lose to the Dolphins 2017. Um, Dolphins get a 52-yard kick as the clock hit zeros to beat the, Dol- the Jags. Uh, the Jags didn't score any points in the second half. Terry Kill had a 80-some-odd yard reception touchdown after getting uh, detained earlier in the day uh, on his way to the stadium. Dolphins team could be good. Offensively, they're pretty dang good. Um, the Jags might be bad. I like. I said it in the uh, podcast NFL preview of the uh, House Divided podcast that this Jags team always finds a way to suck, and yeah, that's what it is. There, you just don't you don't score a single point in the second half, and. You're not going to win games. That's all I got. That's it. Jags aren't good. Saints beat the Panthers 47-10. The Panthers are just awful. I don't know what else to say about this. The Panthers are terrible. That, that's all. Panthers. I thought the Patriots were going to be the worst team in the NFL. It might be the Panthers. Vikings beat the Giants 28-6. Uh, Sam Darnold looked really good. But it was against the New York Giants, so I'm not going to buy into Sam Darnold being great yet. The Giants are terrible. Daniel Jones is terrible. Dan- the Giants should feel terrible. Daniel Jones should feel terrible. Um, the Raiders lose to the Chargers 22-10. Uh, J.K. Dobbins had a uh, phenomenal ca- game after just having struggles the past couple years with injuries. Um... Chargers win in Jim in Jim Harbaugh's debut, powered by a former Ohio State player. I love the irony there. Um, Raiders aren't good. There was a fight at one point in this game, and I. It doesn't shock me that this game, the win, was powered by running the running game. I mean, Justin Herbert wasn't bad, 17 for 26 and 144 yards. He was, he was safe, um, and that's all you need to do. All you need against the Raiders is just be safe against a team that that's, is that bad. Um, yeah, like, I think this Chargers team, like, they're good enough. Where they could, they're going to make the playoffs, I think. Um, Justin Herbert's good. He just has to be safe. Harbaugh is going to be a lot better than Brandon Staley. I think this team will make the playoffs. I don't know if they're going to be able to beat the Chiefs, if they're good enough to do that, but they'll be they'll be fine. Raiders are not good. Uh, Seahawks beat the Broncos. I didn't really watch this game. I don't have much to say. I didn't think the Broncos were going to win this game because it's hard for rookies to win in the NFL. Um, I know, yes, um, Caleb Williams did, talked about that one a few minutes ago, but it's just, it's just hard. It's just, it's hard. Go next, uh, two interceptions, 138, Geno Smith played mostly safe, 177, 18 for 25, uh, he did have one pick, but... And that's all. That's all you really need out of Geno is just be safe. In fact, the Broncos were able to keep this game close. Shows a bit more than what I figured it would be out of them, but um, it, it just might be a very long season for the Broncos. I don't 
I don't like making like I said with the uh, uh, with college last week when I did um, the week one recap. I don't like uh, making early assumptions based off one game. But we have a game we will be making some early assumptions based off one game. The Cowboys beat the Browns 33-17 at home. Uh, the Browns are... Deshaun Watson's terrible. Because Browns' defense looked horrible. And... At what point can we say that the Deshaun Watson experiment for the Browns has failed? Can we say it now? I'm saying it now. Like... The Browns were never in this game. They made it close. To make it respect... To make it... They made it at least look respectable. But... Sean's terrible. This Browns team might be bad. Even with that good defense. Uh, Tampa Bay beat the um, Commanders 37-20. Baker played good. Jane Daniels did score two touchdowns, I believe. Ah, uh, Baker threw for four. When I say Baker played good, he threw for four touchdowns. Jane Na Daniels 184. Uh, got sacked twice. Ran for 88. And this team might just be pretty good. Danny McMillan Millen scored a touchdown. Rookie did the rookie did. Um, Chris Godwin, Mike Evans are still really good. Bucky Irving could be a good running back for the. Um, excuse me, Bucky Irving could be a good running back for the the Buccaneers. And this Buccaneers team might be the best team in the division now after seeing how bad the Falcons laid an egg. Sunday night, this game went. Not quite as expected. Went to overtime. The Lions won 26-20. That Rams offense is still pretty good. That Rams defense, not very good. Um, the Lions did what they needed to do in week one. It was, excuse me, by no means this elite game, phenomenal game, domination. But they need, they did what they needed to do, just steady, steady win, and they move on to week two. And finally, for the week one recap, 49ers beat the Jets 32-19. Uh, no Christian McCaffrey, no problems. The Jets were never in this game. Aaron Rodgers looked terrible. In fact, he got uh, replaced by, for uh, Tyrod Taylor at the, at the tail end of this game, and... Uh, yeah, the Jets might suck. We'll wait till week two to figure that out. There's your week one recap. Let's look at week two. Any notable games? Buffalo, Miami on Thursday night could be fun. We'll talk. We'll talk most about these in the picks. Tampa, at Detroit could be solid. It'll be interesting to see Sam Darnold play a real defense. Some bad ones in here. Cincy at KC would be interesting. Chicago at Houston on Monday night, or on Sunday night. And Atlanta, Philly on Monday night. Let's get to the picks. Wrap this up. Long picks. That's the college picks, Austin. Uh, through week one of the NFL picks, we are thirty. We are thirteen and three. <laughs> Let's move on. Thursday night, Bills travel to Miami. Miami typically wins this game. I know Raheem Mostert's out, and Devon Aching is questionable. I'm still gonna take the Dolphins here on this one. Um, Sunday, 1 o'clock, the Ravens host the Raiders. The Raiders are bad. The Ravens are, get, are pretty good. Give me the Ravens. Chargers, over, uh, Chargers at Panthers, give me the Los Angeles Chargers. 
Uh, the Saints at Dallas going to Jerry World. Give me the Cowboys. Tampa travels travels to Detroit. Baker looked good, but I think the Lions are in week one, but I think the Lions are going to win this game. Um, I believe we're going to have to check this here. Jordan Love is doubtful, so give me the Colts here against the Packers. Uh, Browns traveling to Jacksonville. I already know Nick Chubb's out. Naheem Hines is out. Ooh. David Njoku's questionable. With how bad the Browns looked, give me the Jags. Jags at least look confident, competent. Give me the 49ers against the Vikings. I can't trust Sam Darnold. Um, give me the Seahawks against the Patriots in New England. Continuing the 1 o'clock slate. Give me the Jets against the Titans. Because I think the Jets are... After seeing how bad Will Levis looked, I can't take the Titans. Give me the Commanders against the Giants because the Giants looked really bad against Sam Darnold. Give me the Rams against the Cardinals because I think the I think the Rams are at least competent, unlike the Cardinals. Good stretch. Wow. Uh, Chiefs at Bengal or Bengals at Chiefs. Bengals fan, it hurts me to say this, but give me the Chiefs. I just, I think if this game was uh, not week two, it'd be easier for me to pick the Bengals. Give me the Steelers over the Broncos. D Justin Fields looked solid. Um, the the Denver Denver defense or Denver's team, I just don't know. Uh, give me the Texans over the Bears, and then on Monday night, give me the Eagles. Over the Falcons, and those are your picks for week two. That is your show. See you guys here next Wednesday for more NFL. Till then, have a good weekend and enjoy the football games. See ya.